welcome to the third presentation of integration i'm making this video completely based on the uh, previous uh, the second presentation of the antiderivative infinite integration uh, there we learn a very very wonderful formula we, we discovered ourselves that uh, integration of x to the power n with respect to x is equals to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and then plus constant this is the formula that we derived uh, where I mean we, we discussed about this all right there we had done a very simple uh, calculation uh, like uh, a very simple integration we, we had find out it was 2x times dx and there uh, uh, and there we uh, we just write as a x square plus c all right like this we, we write that time and see uh, how I, this is exactly going to match with this formula I'm going to show you uh, let me put let me put this uh, two outside and this will be integration of x with respect to dx now it two outside as it is and x to the power one we have alright so it's going to be x and see here if power is uh, whatever it is uh, one is going to be added so if it is one so one plus one and the same thing whatever is at uh, numerator uh, I mean the, the the power of the x the same is going to divide this so it's going to divide one plus one and then plus constant so one plus one 2 and x square over 2 2 and 2 cancel up and you'll get just uh, finally x square plus c so that's why you know the integration of 2x times dx uh, there we find out x square plus c and here uh, I just interpreted this in the way of this formula so based on this formula of integration we're going to solve a lot of problem all right a lot of uh, integration we're going to uh, we're going to do uh, first uh, let me give you one more example here uh, let's say I have here uh, uh, x cube all right that's it simple uh, 3x cube better I will say 3x cube dx I need to find out the integration of this so what I will do first I'll put the constant outside uh, just like in derivative you know just put the coefficient constant outside now integration of x cube dx so now here the 3 is outside and now x cube so see here integration of x to the power n here power is 3 so now to remove this uh, integration symbol I'm replacing this by x to the power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 and I'll put a constant C always put constant never forget always remember all right so it's 3 and then times uh, x to the power 4 divided by 4 plus C so it's simply 3 by 4 x to the power 4 plus C okay okay now you can ask me hey Anil why should I believe you why should I believe you that uh, 3 by 4 x to the power 4 has the derivative of 3x cube why should I believe you so you're gonna take take a test so so, so I'm just gonna um, show you by uh, by just checking all right I will say yes I'm a nail and I'm saying you that 3 by 4 x to the power 4 has the derivative of 3x cube all right or integration of 3x cube is 3 by 4 x4 because both are just opposite process derivative of this you know if you just differentiate it uh, differentiation of differentiation of 3 by 4 x 4 will give you 3 x cube and integration of this 3 x cube will give you uh, integration you know integration process integration process of this 3 x cube will give you 3 by 4 x 4 so I'm just showing you the derivative of 3 by 4 x to the power 4 plus constant all right some constant it's orbital constant with respect to x well since it's a coefficient here you're very well in finding out derivative I'll just put outside 3 by 4 and derivative of x to the power 4 with respect to x and derivative of some constant with respect to x you're you are very well with this constant that it's 0 all right and 3 by 4 the coefficient is as it is and then times x to the power 4 now let's go to the power rule once again I'm just uh, revising the power rule. x to the power n uh, with respect to x it's n times x to the power n minus 1 all right so the whatever the power we have the power will be here times x and the power will get reduced by 1 so it's 4 minus 1 cool and the next step what are you going to get 4 and 4 will cancel up and get 3 x 4 minus 1 3 and plus 0 that's nothing so C what do we get the derivative of 3 by 4 x 4 plus C is 3 x cube which is here which is here so I'm sure now you'll believe me right <laughs> okay so always always believe that the process of integration is just reverse of differentiation alright and always keep this uh, formula in your brain 
all right dealing with uh, algebraic equations while dealing with algebraic equation this will definitely help you not with trigonometric equation right you are not going to use this formula if like like you have sine uh, sine cube uh, d uh, sine cube x let's say times dx all right so that time you're not going to follow this formula that's completely wrong all right it's just applicable for the algebraic uh, algebraic uh, you know algebraic functions all right well so i'll see you guys in the next video with uh, next new lessons